Hi, and welcome back to The Cottage. Today, I'm going to be sharing a big, long list of decluttering and organizing projects that you can dig into and accomplish in less than a day. But before I get into today's content, I want to share the winners of last week's giveaway video. Thank you to all of you who supported me and left a comment on last week's video as an entry into this giveaway. I have a random drawing set up and I'm going to choose two winners to win $100 gift cards from Amazon. If you see your name here on the screen, I need you to contact me via my email address, arrowhillcottage, at gmail.com and leave me a note with your preferred email and I will be sending you an electronic $100 Amazon gift card. Congratulations to our winners. And again, thank you so much for supporting this channel, for subscribing and encouraging me. I really do appreciate all of your support. All right, on to today's topic of decluttering and organizing projects that you can accomplish quickly. I think most of us would agree that the idea of tearing apart our entire homes to find items to declutter or discard is very overwhelming. So I thought it might be helpful to compile a large list of decluttering or organizing ideas, whether that be a certain space or a product or group of items that you can really hone in on and know that you can accomplish in a very short amount of time. Because we all know that those small wins can help us gain momentum, which will help us accomplish larger goals. And while I share this list, I'm going to be tackling one such project here in our home, which is our puzzle and game closet. This is a space that our kids are generally in control of. They're the ones that take things out of it and put things back in. And I think it's time for me to put my eyes on what's going on in there, make some decisions about things that might need to be decluttered or discarded, and also do a little bit of organizing to make it more efficient. So if you have a project in your home that you've been wanting to tackle, now would be a great time to put those head phones on and listen to the list and we can work together on these decluttering projects. I'm going to break this long list down into categories based on the amount of time that the project might take. 10 minutes, 30 minutes, one to two hours, and two to four hours. That means that there's a decluttering or organizing project that is just the right size for any amount of time that you have available. Of course, these are just rough estimates. If they take you more time or less, don't worry. We'll start off with those that can be done quickly, in 10 minutes or less. Food storage containers. A couple quick rules of thumb. If it doesn't have a lid, or if it's covered in scratches or stains, consider decluttering. First aid kits. You may have multiple, maybe in your home, garage, and your vehicle. Take a few minutes to check the supplies in them so that they're ready if you need them. Throw pillows. If you're being honest with yourself, this task should be quick. Keep the ones that you love. Wallet. Does it contain any gift cards that need to be used up? Business cards that are no longer valid? Organize your wallet in a way that makes sense for you. Candles, sprays, or other scented products. Declutter those that you don't like the smell of or those that give you a headache. Also, get rid of the ones that are basically used up. Sunglasses. You can only wear one pair at a time. Just keep that in mind when you're looking through what you have. Pens, markers, pencils, and any writing utensil. Check to make sure they still work and have erasers. Cookbooks. If you haven't looked in it for over a year, it can probably go. Otherwise, consider ripping out the pages that contain the recipes you use or snap a picture of them. Coffee mugs. Do they multiply behind closed cabinet doors? Why does it seem there is always an overpopulation? Choose your favorites, then set aside the others. If you don't use them after a predetermined amount of time, let them go. In the same way, declutter and organize water bottles and kid sippy cups. Backpacks. With school starting up, this is a good one to have on the list, as a reminder. Packaging material. I'm talking envelopes, stamps, tape, boxes. These can take up a large chunk of space if we aren't careful. Consider how many of each you actually need to keep on hand. Cookware. Make sure that the non-stick items are removed from rotation as soon as they have scratches in the Teflon. And do an inventory check on pots, pans, and baking dishes you haven't reached for in the last month or two. Those might not need to be taking up valuable real estate. Paint cans. 
Remove the cans of colors that you don't use or like anymore, or those that are expired. Many incinerator stations will collect leftover paint and resell small quantities for a deeply discounted price. Makeup or other self-care products. Keep what you use, discard what you don't. If there's a little of a product left in one bottle, you can save space by moving it to a new product container. Moving on now to projects that will be a bit more of a challenge. Those that will take approximately 30 minutes. Toy box. It can be less overwhelming to tackle toy clutter a little bit at a time. A toy box is a great place to start. Have your child sit with you and go through each item one at a time, making decisions together about what can stay and what should go. Vehicle. Our vehicles are literally an extension of our homes on wheels, and because they travel with us, they pick up all sorts of random items. From the glove box to the trunk and everything in between, picking up garbage, cleaning up crumbs, and removing unnecessary items can go a long way. Silverware or utensil drawer. For this project, I like to take everything out, wipe down the drawer and cutlery tray, then put everything back in, in an orderly way under sinks in either the kitchen or the bathrooms. People choose many different types of things to store in this location, from cleaning supplies to garbage cans or even stacks of towels. Make decisions for this area based on safety, keeping those dangerous chemicals away from children or pets, and also for efficiency. Only keep items that are used on a regular basis to keep this space from being too crowded. Purses, both the contents and the collection if you have one. If you've gotten into the habit of buying a new purse or bag to match each outfit, but are realizing that dealing with the inventory is more than you'd like to deal with, getting rid of some of the excess might be in order. A couple quick wins in the digital clutter department. The desktop of a computer or your phone's home screen. Even if the first step is to create some broad category folders, it will visually clean things up and make it easier to do the detailed decluttering later. Coffee products. Likely there have been some flavors that you've tried and not loved. Go ahead and eliminate them. Any creamers or tools that you use to make coffee or also if you have a machine that you don't really use. Maybe you bought a fancy espresso machine that you never use. It's okay to pass that along for someone who might find it useful. Cleaning products. Gather them all in one central location. Look for duplicates and also products that you've tried and not liked. Bookshelf. It's likely that just one shelf can be tackled in this time frame. Take the time to look at the cover of each book and quickly make decisions. Make the organizing fun by sorting the remaining books by color or categorize them by topic. Kitchen counters and islands. Notorious clutter collectors, these spots can be cleared off easily and rather quickly if the items that are on top of them are put back in their designated spots. A wipe down will complete this project and make your kitchen feel fresh and clean. Toolbox. Check for duplicate tools or any that might be dangerous to use. Socks and undergarments. I'll admit, and I think I'm not alone, that I can sometimes hold onto these types of clothing items a little longer than I should. Take a close look for holes or rips and consider purchasing replacements. Or if the space is feeling too full, ask yourself if you could downsize a bit. To organize, use smaller containers to separate like items into categories. One end table or one nightstand can be tackled in 30 minutes or less. Have a bit more time? Choose a project from this group. China cabinet. Depending on how long you have been collecting, this project might take a while. Make some decisions about the dishes that are most important to you. A proper cleaning of the cabinet might also be in order. Shoes. I'm not sure why, but we all tend to have more shoes than we really need or even use. To declutter in this category, I recommend first choosing your favorite two or three pairs, the ones you wear most often. Then think critically about the rest. Fridge or freezer. In order to do a thorough job, this project might take a while, but having a clean and organized fridge and freezer can make meal prep much more efficient. Medicine cabinet. It's always a good idea to make sure that you have a proper supply of the medications you use on a regular basis so that you don't run out at an inconvenient time. However, it's also important to discard any that are expired. If you have prescription medications that need to be decluttered, be sure not to throw them in the trash. 
check with your local law enforcement, as many have drop box locations where you can dispose of the leftovers safely. Pet supplies. Food, toys, bowls, beds, and collars. Depending on your pet, you could be holding on to quite a few items. Identify which are most important and used often. I put this project in this longer time frame because there's likely to be a bit of cleaning involved with this one. Puzzles and games. Case in point, what I'm working on today. It's a good idea to go through them often, especially if kids are the ones who are normally the ones to manage them. Magazines. There can be a lot of useful information in magazines, but there are also a whole lot of advertisements. A tip I use to keep magazine clutter under control is to rip out the pages I want, then store them in three ring binders with plastic sleeves. Spice drawer or a spot where you keep your spices. Are there any spices you never use? Is there a way you could organize them so that they're more readily available for use? Entryway. The port of entry into your home should be a peaceful and welcoming sight. If you walk in the door and are confronted with a mess, Take a sliver of time to declutter and organize this important space. Hanging clothes in the closet. It's time to say goodbye to your fantasy self. Consider decluttering clothing items that no longer fit or that don't match your style anymore. To help keep the closet organized going forward, choose a specific number of hangers to keep in it. If you plan to bring a new item in, those hangers will be your guide. If there isn't a hanger available, you'll need to make a decluttering choice in order to make room. Utility drawer. Some people call these junk drawers, the spot where you keep useful miscellaneous things such as tape measures, batteries, duct tape, pens, and the like. Take some time to decide how you want this area to function. Then set to work eliminating anything that shouldn't be in this particular spot. After you've finished organizing, give a tour to all household members so that they know what is allowed to live in this space and they also will know where to put them back. Christmas decor bins or any other holiday decoration collections. Part of the time spent on this project will be digging them out of storage. It might make sense to save this particular one for when the season to decorate arrives. When decluttering, think about what was used over the last year and which items haven't made it out of the bins in a while. Those might be safe to pass along. Linen closet. Blankets, bed sheets, and towels. Oh my. Think about how many of each type of item you actually need and set to getting the inventory down to a manageable level. The first ones to go should be those that smell musty or have rips and stains. Animal shelters would gladly accept your discards. The final category is reserved for a more advanced declutter and organizing session. Typically, full rooms will take a bit longer. My suggestion is to not declutter for over four hours straight in any given day. This can give you major decision fatigue and cause you extra frustration. If you don't finish the job in four hours, simply stop what you're doing and revisit the project the next day. Two to four hours. Coat closet. The turn of the seasons, in the fall and the spring especially, provide the perfect opportunity to go through these spaces. Check to make sure every household member has a coat that fits properly and that will keep out the elements. Note any hats or mittens that weren't used and consider decluttering them. If you keep umbrellas or other random outdoor gear in your coat closet, go through them as well. The organization of this particular spot is very important, so take your time to think about what will work best for you. Filing cabinet. I'm speaking from experience on this one. If you haven't gone through yours in quite a while, this could be a bit of a daunting task. Documents over seven years old are safe to shred and recycle. To help ease the clutter going forward, organize the cabinet in a streamlined way that makes sense to you, with the categories you grab for most often in front and those that are for long-term storage near the back. Photo albums or boxes that hold photos. Going through pictures can take a long time for sentimental reasons. It's okay to take your time, just tackling this project for a couple hours in any given session. Try not to overwhelm yourself. Home office. If you work from home, you know that this space needs to function well. If the clutter has begun creeping in, give it some attention. Look for outdated papers, supplies, and even electronics. Garage. Every garage is so different. 
And at least from my experience, these spaces can take a long time to declutter and organize thoroughly. Decide how you want your garage to function and then take small steps in getting it to match your goal. Two to four hours in the garage, even once per week, can go a long way. Some smaller projects within the overall garage project that you can think about include sports equipment, lawn care, tools, building supplies, and hobby gear. Perhaps choose just one of those to work on at a time. Pantry. This is another space that can get away from people quickly. As a designated spot to hold food and possibly small appliances, there are a lot of individual items to go through. It doesn't need to look Pinterest perfect, but it should function well. So take your time and be thoughtful about how you want it laid out. Crafting supplies. I've been there and done that. If you're a creative person, it's likely you have a stash that matches the size of your imagination. Really think about which projects you find the most joy in and want to accomplish in the next while, maybe a year or so. Keep what you need to accomplish them and consider passing the rest along. When I did a large craft supply declutter, I found that the Senior Citizen Center in my area gladly accepted donations of those types of items. Media Console I'm putting this project on the longer time frame list because there is such a wide variety of items that may be stored in this location. Movie DVDs, music CDs, game consoles, cords, remotes, and so much more. It may help to break the process down into categories. With various streaming services available now, such as Netflix, Hulu, and Pandora, many of us don't access these physical media items as much as we used to. Consider that a prime opportunity to set some of these things free. Hobby equipment or supplies. Think camping or fishing gear, cake decorating supplies, or sporting goods equipment. What are you actively using on a regular basis? Asking that simple question might help you make decluttering decisions for this category. And finally, kitchen cabinets. If you're like me and don't like to spend a lot of time in the kitchen, it's going to be really important that it's organized in an efficient way. Take some time to rethink each individual cabinet so that it can be the most useful. If you're curious how I have my kitchen laid out, I recently filmed a video all about it. I'll have that linked down below. All right, that is the list. Each individual item I don't think is too overwhelming. It's a bite-sized piece, but the great thing is that if you can commit to tackling one or two of these projects each week or each month, you are going to see a huge change in your home over the course of a year. So again, those little small changes are going to build upon one another and pretty soon your home is going to be feeling the way that you want it to feel and it's going to be amazing. Thank you so much for watching today's video and for decluttering with me and I hope that you'll stop by the cottage again really soon.